um, we were at church and uh, the announcement came out and everybody got very excited and people were saying, where's Pearl Harbor and, and all that kind of thing. Uh, we did go home uh, and my father had not gone to church. He had gone to a poetry reading uh, club that he uh, initiated in Seattle. So he was not home. Uh, when we got home, uh, and uh, oh, within a half hour or so, uh, uh, three FBI agents came to the house looking for my father. And we told them where he was, so two of them took off and went to go, go get him. And uh, the other one stayed in the house to search through the house. And that one person searched through the entire house and picked up all kinds of photos and anything written in Japanese and uh, that kind of thing uh, throughout the house. So we did not see my father again for quite a while. Uh, they picked him up at the meeting where he was uh, involved and uh, put him into a jail cell in the same building where he worked as an interpreter for the U.S. Immigration Department. Well, that picture was uh, taken by the uh, Seattle Times. And um, it was a group of us, including our family and friends, that were loading on the bus to go to camp. Uh, the thing I just vaguely remember about it was that they photographer who was what, taking photos and um, uh, he asked, he said, smile. So uh, my sister ended up smiling and the rest of us were kind of nonchalant. And uh, it end up, ended up in the New York or uh, Seattle Times and it said, uh, note smiling faces, a lesson to Tokyo as if, look how happy everybody is. And of course, uh, you know, everybody that was involved in the fo photo was not uh, very happy at all. Well, you know, I was only nine, and um, it was something that, as far as I knew, it was something that my family was doing. We were going someplace. I really didn't know the impact of the whole thing. That is that we were going to a camp, you know, to a concentration camp basically.